Well, the show season has started in most parts of the country, and we've been receiving a lot of requests about sponsorship, if we can sponsor people, how to get sponsored. Uh, one of our favorites is, hey, you don't have to do the sponsorship thing for me, just tell me exactly how to do it and I'll do it myself. As if there was a secret formula for sponsorships. Well, we've put about 200 vehicles at SEMA and Boost and required a lot of sponsorships over the years. I don't think there's a secret formula, but I'm gonna let you know how I've done it since I started. First and foremost, you wanna have a pretty decent platform that a lot of companies are gonna be modifying. Um, and we always like to start with a newer vehicle. So a, a good example would be a 2016-2017 Camaro Mustang. Now, before you start approaching companies, make sure that you've already done some type of modifications. You, you don't want to start give a company a clean slate and say, hey, I want some product for my car. Um, you know, do some suspension, do some wheels, put some bolt-on uh, performance products, and then start talking to companies about sponsorship. Now, once you have started that, that mindset that you want to get sponsored, here's another mindset you need to get, get into. Stop doing just local shows. If you want to get noticed, pick shows that are three to 500 miles away from your hometown and go to those shows, especially the shows where your sponsors are sponsoring that show. Yeah, that's going to cost you anywhere from about $800 to $1,500 per vehicle if you do it correctly. After that, you want to make sure that you're also going to industry events. Not everybody's going to go to SEMA that year. Not everybody's going to go to CES. Not everybody's going to have their vehicle in PRI. But you, you can go there and talk to people that you want to sponsor your vehicle. That's going to show initiative. And it's going to cost you some money too. I mean, SEMA, it's going to, it usually runs us about $4,500 for the week. Uh, PRI, about $2,200 for the three days that you're there. And then CES is another $3,500. You might think, oh my God, that's a lot of money. Yeah, but there's a lot of things you're going to be doing while you're there. And myself, I'm not going to be eating Insta Ramen while I'm in Vegas. So, next thing you want to do is you want to set in your schedule to actually visit these uh, sponsoring companies. <laughs> Put some time off from work and go, go to California, go to the East Coast, you know, stop in at K&N, go to T-Rex, go to Toyo Tires. Make an appointment with these people and say, hey, this is the face that you've been talking to over the phone, and this is a commitment that I want to have with you, and I want to show you that I'm going to provide you with some type of ROI. On top, after you do that, the next thing you want to start thinking about is hiring photographers. And I'm not talking about somebody that has a camera that can shoot some pics of your, of your car and call it a day. No, I'm talking about guys that actually take time to go to different conferences, different trainings and have pretty good programs on their computer so they're gonna make your car look fantastic maybe you want you want your car to be so attractive to companies like yeah that's what we want to have our product on that's what we want people to associate our brand with hire a photographer don't just ask for a favor uh, another thing you want to consider is is helping people out no matter what what you do in life there's something that you can do that's gonna help somebody along the way and what I've been professing for the last 25 years is help somebody out, no matter what they're doing. I mean, you might know how to write a really good resume. You might know how to do Photoshop very well. Or you might know how to build a great turbo. Help those people out. Because there's going to be two types of people in the industry. One that, and, and they're not going to know you. One that they don't care to know you. Or two, that they don't know what you, exactly what you're doing and they want what you have. So if, if you're not an asshole with people, excuse my French, and you help people out, someone's gonna be helping you out the same way down the road. Now, once you do a good job and you do the things that I did, um, you're gonna really find out who your friends are. So you're gonna have to be prepared to lose some people because there are people that are you know, quite petty and uh, they're not gonna like when they see your car you know, leaps and bounds ahead of theirs if you're doing the right thing. And that's my friends, is how we did it. You know, we, we paid our dues a long, long time ago. Uh, we've been doing this for 15 years here in the States. Um, sometimes shows cost us $500, sometimes it costs us $2,000 per weekend. Uh, going to see was not cheap, going to see yes is not cheap. Uh, taking a few days to go to California to visit sponsors for, for a week is not cheap. But 
it's what you want to put into it. What do you want to have in the long run? Is it worth it for? Well, that's how I did it. Uh, it's not the foolproof method. Uh, there's probably easier ways to do it, but it's been a successful method for us for the last 15 years providing vehicles for SEMA. So go right ahead, follow my lead, or as Depeche Mills once said, stumble in my footsteps. Hope to see you at the shows.